and you are welcome to Audio Learn. My name is Prophet Praise. You can call me Adrian Kesey. Thank you for joining us. If you have not subscribed yet, please and please do subscribe, comment, share, and like this video. We want to build a family, we want to build a community. As I always say, God bless you for joining us. Do you know that how long you learn can affect your brain and can also affect what you learn? Do you know the time you spend learning, studying, can affect when the information is being retrieved from your brain? Do you know? Do you know why people can't recall better, can't remember better, can't retrieve information from the long-term memory better? Today, I'm here to show you and explain to you what you should really do whenever you are learning. Because something learning breaks or studying breaks. You see, your spine works with your brain. In other words, your brain works with your spine. So when you sit down for too long, it affects your spine, it affects your waist, and then it gives pressure to the brain. So how long you sit to learn is very important and you need to take notice of how long you sit down learning. Let's say I sit here for three hours without standing up. I'm doing my brain a very big harm. I'm not helping my spine and I'm not helping my brain. You should be able to take what we call the learning breaks or the studying breaks as a student. Don't learn more than 30 minutes. Whenever you learn from one minute to 30 minutes, take a break for five minutes. Walk around to and fro. Try to remember what you have learned during the 30 minutes. Don't learn for over 30 minutes. All the information you learn after 30 minutes will be distorted. When your brain is trying to remember in the day that you need it, there will be distortion. The retrieval capacity of the brain will be distorted. So you learn for 30 minutes, you take a break for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and you come back. Let's say you want to learn for 3 hours. So you divide the 3 hours into 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So you get six, six learning breaks. So every three hours you take six learning breaks. So you can learn for 25 minutes and take a learning break for five minutes, which is 30. So let's say you want to learn for one hour or two hours. These two hours you take four learning breaks. You learn for 25 minutes, you take a learning break of five minutes trying to remember what you have learned, trying to exercise your body and do some stretchings. Don't sit down for more than 30 minutes. Don't sit down for one hour, two hours, three hours. Even if you want to learn for six hours, don't just sit down for six hours and try to absorb everything. Take a break. Take a break. You see, the, the brain is a machine. The brain is like an engine. When an engine overheats, it gives problem to the car the car cannot function well with an engine that is sport or overheated so don't overheat your brain give your brain learning breaks and don't forget to stay hydrated you see dehydration also affects your brain so when you are learning drink water drink enough water Take learning breaks. Don't sit down for hours learning. Take learning breaks. 25 minutes or 30 minutes. And you take a break of 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Don't sit down for hours learning. When you are trying to retrieve the information in the day that you need it, the capacity to retrieve will be distorted. The brain will find it difficult to remember the information. 
the brain hates tiredness when the brain is tired you can put any information you want in the brain the day comes you need it it will not come because when you were encoding it the system was overloaded the system was tired don't overload your brain when you are trying to encode information by learning a fresh material or even if you are trying to remember don't sit down for long take learning breaks 30 minutes divide your three hours into 30 minutes 30 minutes you get six so do take breaks when you are learning or studying wherever you are i wish you all the best and good luck to you bye bye